Hi, welcome back to vlog number two. Uh, yeah, so Fort is not happening tomorrow. Unfortunately, it really, really sucks, but there's just no way, there's no way I can edit right now, uh, if we're being realistic here. There's no way I can edit, and I'm not gonna put out a video I'm not happy with by just half oh, yeah. the effects and everything else that I have planned in mind. I don't want to limit my creativity to that point. So rather than putting out a semi-okay video, I'd rather put out a polished piece of work. But to do that, I need to build a computer, which is what I'm doing today. So if you want to join me along for the computer building process, welcome. If not, it's totally fine. You can check back in once this PC is up and running and you'll see photography, videography, and board game tutorials and videos up and running. So I'll see you then. But for the rest of you that want to join me along for this computer building journey, let's get started. It's funny too because I've never built a computer entirely on my own. I've always had my cousin there with me or my dad there with me or like I mentioned in the last vlog, I always had my uncle there with me as well. But this will be my fourth PC that I've built. But the gap between the last time I built a PC and now, it's like 14 years ago. So a lot of things have changed. But the good thing is there's a lot of resources online now. So I'm gonna refer to that. I am no computer expert. I know. A thing or two but compared to all of the tutorials and videos I've seen I apparently know nothing a uh, majority of the pieces have come in already so the first one here is the RM 750x by Corsair it's a power supply it's way more than enough for the PC that I'm building I think the wattage comes out to be like 383 watts so this is more than plenty plus it's white I'm trying to go for the white PC build you know it would be fun to conclude the series with like a epic conclusion and do like a cinematic showcase of a computer. That's a thing, because I've always wanted to do tech anyway on my channel. The very beginning, it was always tech, board games, and photography, because in reality, they're all related. Like, you can't do photography without a computer. You can't do board game videos without a computer. Okay. Oh, opens this way. No one ever reads this. Comes with like a nice little plastic case. Oh, these are all the wires and stuff. So the power supply is on is in the off switch, which by the way, if you didn't know, it's when the, the O is clicked in. For those that didn't know. And then it's grounded, so this is plugged into an outlet, but it is off. So now I'm able to de-static yourself. Is there a word for that? De-static? Dissipate? Dissipate your charge. And then also got this cardboard piece, which I'm now gonna put underneath because I am also wearing socks and I am also on carpet. Yes, I'm trying to avoid some static buildup, but I'm also trying to avoid any kind of malfunctioning with these computer parts because they are an arm and a leg. So I'm trying to take the proper precautions. Then again, here I am doing liquid cooling with hardline tubing for once. So quote me tomorrow when I am doing hardline tubing for the first time. You know what? It wouldn't be the, the Tim Chuan channel if I wasn't going to make this look cool. So I decided to strip away all the bad lighting and the nastiness of the environment earlier. And now let's set up a cinematic environment so I can teach you at least while this whole PC building process is going on, I can teach you some filming techniques um, as we go. And then at the very end, I'll do a cinematic showcase. Gonna dissipate the electricity I have built up, touching the power supply, and then... <gasps> so the motherboard that I have is the B550 Aorus Master. The um, reason why I went with the B550 chip, two reasons. One, it's in stock, so I kind of need it now. And the other motherboards were all unavailable, or they would take like freaking a week to come. And secondly, this motherboard can hold 128 gigs, which is way more than enough. It's pretty future-proof. It also has heat sinks. It's Wi-Fi 6 compatible. Only downside was that its price point was already getting into the X570 territory. I mean, it was like $50 away from X570. So you do save a little bit of money here. But here is the beautiful motherboard that is going to be the brains of all future videos from here on out. I'm so excited. It's like a newborn baby. It's so heavy. Stickers. The user's manual, which we will not throw this time. It's always so satisfying to get a shot of the cover being unwrapped. It's really good for sound effects, which is why I like to do shots like this. So I'm gonna do a close-up shot of the package's opening, and then I'm gonna try to get this plastic piece here 
into the lens. That way it acts as a transition point for the wipe into the whole motherboard by itself. I don't remember motherboards being this nice. Since when did they turn out to be as beautiful as this? Jesus. Okay, so now time to do some quick overhead shots here, scanning left to right. So I'm gonna scan left, to right, up, down, and just do a really big opening shot since this is the brains of the computer. Now this is the Ryzen 3900X. So this one is running 12 cores. It's going to be an extremely powerful computer. Three times the amount of cores that I had in my last computer. I do want a spinning shot of this, but not while the processor is in here. I'm gonna get the shot after but I do want to spin the box. And then when this spins in the frame like that, I'm going to transition it into putting the processor in the motherboard. So I do want to get one single motion of just holding the processor and putting it in the motherboard and then actually put it in. But I just have to be really careful because I do not want to break this. Just look at that. My goodness. So there is a tiny arrow in the left corner here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a tiny arrow here that you have to match along with the motherboard. So this one, luckily, goes straight just like this. Can I film it and not drop it? That is the real question here. There have been too many times. Board game pieces are one thing at four to five dollars. However, a processor is not anywhere near the same price. Yes. <laughs> Nice shot here and oh, it's gonna look so good. It's gonna look so good to just pull this part in, in place. Okay, hold on. One piece down, 12 to go. So I actually just dropped by and um, I'm gonna actually return the hard drive that I just got. Reason for that, it's way slower than what I need and it's very, very tiny. I don't know why, why did I go with 480 gigs? I have no idea why. And I end up getting the Aorus NVMe Gen 4 SSD PCIe 4 slot. Long story short, it's really fast. Is it necessary for what I'm doing? Probably not. It's a bit overkill, but it's okay. I just don't want any more lag on my premier timeline, honestly. So that's my sole reason for upgrading to the PCIe 4 slot. Brand new hardware releasing this summer. Actually, did, I think it released like a couple weeks ago. So I think these slots are all the same. One, two, three. There should be a four slot somewhere, but I'm going to unscrew this here and then stick in this hard drive. But in order to film this, I want to get a nice open shot afterwards. I'm going to actually clear the table for a second and then I want to get a nice clear shot of the box since it has a nice rainbow glow to it. And then an opening followed by very, very tight, very, very tight shots of um, the screwdriver. Just tightening in the bolts over here. And that's it. Just look at that hardware. This is what a hard drive looks like now. Jesus. This looks like a battery from Optimus Prime. Just wow. Okay, so that's it for vlog number two. Thanks for joining me if you're here. Joining me along for this PC building journey. I only got the processor and the hard drive built in. So Maram should be here tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get another... I'll start on vlog number three tomorrow where I'm gonna install my graphics card and a bunch of other things included. Uh, I also have to figure out where all these RGB cables need to go to. So I need to do some research tonight before I have a better plan going into tomorrow's vlog. But other than that, thank you all for being here and I will see you all in vlog number three.